Hi, I'm Aidan Abram, and I've been acting as the Secretariat for Youth Engagement here at the COP Negotiations. Hi, Aidan. Um, what first inspired you to get involved in the climate change movement? Wow. Um, my history is really in social justice and community building, and seeing climate change increasingly become a public issue in the eyes of people around the world really showed me that it was an opportunity to engage uh, young people on an issue that's well, one of the pressing issues of our generation, and perhaps may define our generation, and seeing it as an opportunity to really push forward on some of the really important things like uh, governance and equality and access to resources that are really the, really pressing um, for, for the future of our society and being sustainable. Great. And I guess, when did you start getting involved in climate change at an international level? Sure. The first time I was uh, really involved was at, in Nairobi in November 2006 at COP12. And when I attended with the Canadian Youth Delegation, uh, I was quite new to climate change at the time, and it was really quite a learning experience for me. But at that, I really realized there was a role to play for youth, and that there wasn't enough being done to organize internationally. So in the lead up to Bali in the end of December uh, 2007, we, I, I was a coordinator of the Canadian Youth Delegation and then also was doing some activities to, to understand how youth could better engage at the negotiations, which has led to my current involvement, which is really helping to bring together the 500 youth who are here from more than 50 countries. So it's been this, this growth over the last two years. Wow. And uh, I guess we're a few days into the COP now. What are your reflections on the sort of impact that the International Youth Delegation has had? I've been absolutely amazed by what we've been able to do. Coming here even just a week ago, uh, people were unsure of where they could make a difference, what their activities were going to be, and seeing what's happened with the amount of media work that's being done, the amazing uh, youth-produced content, the videos, the blogs, um, has been incredible. But also some of the new things that we're doing, which is working alongside some of the least developed countries and small island states, which have the least capacity to do work on climate change in the negotiations. Some of the work we may start doing with indigenous peoples. These are really important ways that youth can engage and, and make, make those for a stronger agreement. It's not just out there. Uh, engaging with young people around the world, which is so, so, so important, but it's also making an impact inside the negotiating rooms, which I think for now we haven't been able to, to see in such a way, and it's, it's very incredible. Thank you. I guess finally, is there a message you'd like to share with all the youth on Tiki and Global and other youth worldwide who aren't here today? Absolutely. I, I hope that you see through some of these engagements at uh, the negotiations, as well as the things that you see in your own community or around the world, that we really can do things on climate change, that it's largely going to be up to us who are inheriting this, but we can't give up. It's all we have is to make sure that the future is what we want it to be. And uh, I hope that through this sort of action, this sort of activity, that you see that uh, we really can do anything that we want. Thank you.